after a night of violence dubbed Dublin's Night of Shame, Ireland's Prime Minister condemned those who torched the capital, describing them as criminals who are filled with hate. In a scathing speech today, uh, Leo, uh, Tersek, Leo Vrucker, had this message for the rioters. Those involved brought shame on Dublin, brought shame on Ireland, and brought shame on their families and themselves. These criminals did not do what they did because they love Ireland. They did not do what they did because they wanted to protect Irish people. They did not do it out of any sense of patriotism, however warped. They did so because they're filled with hate. They love violence, they love chaos, and they love causing pain to others. To all those cowardly champions of Ireland who took to the streets of Dublin last night, let me say one thing. Ask your sisters, ask your friends, ask everyone you know what they fear most on our streets. They're afraid of you, afraid of your anger and your rage, afraid of your violence, your hate, and how you blame others for your problems. Described as the worst disorder in decades, police were scrambled from all over Ireland, which saw them clash with over 500 thugs who burned cars, buses and looted shops. 34 people have been arrested, with police promising many more will follow. One top cop blamed the violence on a complete lunatic faction driven by far-right ideology. The unrest occurred after five people, including three small children, were injured in a knife attack outside a school. While police say it wasn't terror-related, unsubstantiated rumours began circulating online that the attacker was an immigrant. A man in his 50s has been arrested. And, look, I mean, just everything about this is just so appalling and awful that, first of all, uh, uh, an incident which is in itself absolutely horrific, the fact that we're talking about stabbings and, and various other things, that that can take place on, on streets of a civilised nation is appalling in the first place. And then that social media either spreads uh, misinformation or untruth or people take things into their own hands to... to uh, protest and then to turn to violence is again absolutely appalling, and and I'm pleased I suppose that the uh, Taoiseach and, the, and leaders within Ireland have taken a very firm stance and said you know you are no supporter you are no friends of ours this is not acceptable on our streets. Having said that, I think it demonstrates that if you have a look across Western nations across Europe, we do have this kind of powder keg which appears to be there which. If there is any indication that it could be an immigrant, an immigrant part of the community or whatever it may be, it's, like, it's not that here's an appalling person, they've done an appalling thing, mm -hmm. which is what it should be. <clears throat> it's like these people... This they're, they're, is held, they're, they're, held, they're held to a different standard because there's this issue of social integration they're already seen as being othered. So when something happens and it's assumed to be someone who's an immigrant, they're held to a different standard. But I do think, I mean, I'm, question, I'm questioning because I, I, I looked into this and one of the things that these people, these writers were shouting was get, get, get him out, the, the person who... Uh, committed this attack. And I'm just curious what that police officer, where they based the information that this was based in far-right ideology, because I think it's important to be accurate here. What we know is that the police haven't released any information about the suspect that they've arrested. We don't know his name, we don't know his background, all of that. And we know that these people were fueled by misinformation online, assuming that he was apparently of Algerian descent. But we don't know that because we don't know what the police have released. Yeah, no. So it's important to be accurate on both sides. I want to know where that police officer got this understanding that people they were intervened, in far-right ideology. But, yeah, but, but people intervened and saw the guy. He was a identified by people. people. But the yeah. thing is, yeah. for me, all of us sitting here, we don't know, because I'm, I'm just going by official reports. From oh, no, no, yeah, but I'm, I, I, I I'm, I'm, but I'm telling you, the official yeah. reports say that five or six young men intervened and stopped the guy, yes. and they identified yeah, they, him they, as they, being they, foreign. So okay. that, that's Well, that, th this is right, because actually it happened where this, this um, school uh, happened, where these yeah, very, very young children were attacked, was right opposite, where actually there were a lot of members of the press. There was a big inquiry going into something that happened in the 1980s. So there were huge numbers of people there. There were a lot of witnesses. There were a lot of people taking video. They went, they ended up on social media. So my gut feeling is that they're right, probably, about who it was, as in the ethnicity mm. and you know the, the, what country he'd come from, whether he's Algerian or whatever. Now, obviously, none of that makes the rioting okay. okay. Yeah. But underneath the story, there has been a lot of unrest and, and simmering resentment about the levels of immigration uh, into Ireland. And just recently, the Taoiseach and the you know, leading classes were saying, isn't it a wonderful thing that 20% of citizens in Ireland were born outside Ireland? That is a huge, fifth, yeah. huge mm. number. You know, bigger than the, the than the immigration into America at the height of, you know, pretty much when, when America yeah. was a melting pot for immigrants all over the world. Yeah. So 
I'm not surprised. I, I, I do feel that the authorities and the government in Ireland have been slightly snoozing at the wheel on yeah. this and haven't realised what was going on. Yeah, but the, but but I, I I also definitely when I was watching the the tea shock there, who was saying, ask your sisters, ask your family who they're scared of. They're scared of you, because the problem is that you know in that case, do, you know we do have other ways of actually complaining about things, and this is not the way to go and break windows yeah. and 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 rob shops and. Uh, and 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 yeah. kick off in that way. It, it is. And the level of it, violence. And the was trouble very is that high. it makes that it raises the temperature so that no longer can people end up with having a decent conversation about it.